Eric Stewart with Lincoln Electric and today we're out in the shop with our pipe fab machine here and we're going to explain true energy. Okay, so the conventional way of calculating what is kilojoules per inch is by taking amps times volts times 60 divided by travel speed times a thousand. So that's what the calculation we used to use with some of the traditional processes such as TIG, STIC, and CV MIC. Now, when we get into processes like STT and Pulse, where we're dealing with peak currents and background currents, we get a lot of questions saying, well, what is the actual amount of heat input because we fluctuate different frequencies to get those peak and background currents. So, Lincoln Electric came up with what is true energy. And true energy is how we calculate that internally for you, and then you simply have to take the kilojoules displayed on the front of the uh, pipe fab here and divide it by the length of the weld. And that will tell you your kilojoules per inch. So this is going to show you total kilojoules. With that, we're going to have Steve make a weld, and then we'll go to the bench and measure his weld. So on the front of the UI here, on the pipe fab, you will see we have amps and we have volts, but more importantly, we see true energy right here. And this is a running total of the heat input that he is putting into that plate for the duration of this well. Another key thing to note here is we also record time. So, if we look here, we're going to see that we have 150.2 kilojoules. So if we go over to the bench, Steve, could you hold the tape measure for us? So we had 150.2 kilojoules, and that's divided by what is 6 inches. So that gives us 25 kilojoules per inch. Okay? So we simply took the total kilojoules displayed on True Energy, divided it by the length of the weld, and that is how we calculated what is the kilojoules per inch utilizing True Energy. For more information about True Energy or the Pipe Fab machine, go to LincolnElectric.com.